guys, I am Rebecca and these are my reviews and today I have my new and interesting things for you. If you are new to my channel, at the end of the month I like to gather all of the things, half of which were sent to me for reviews, some of which I picked up myself, but it's basically stuff that I just haven't talked about yet and it's new and interesting and worth a mention. And I will leave all of the information for each of the products in the description box, so make sure you check that out. I will also have links to products, so if you are interested, you can always just find them there. Okay, so let's start with this, which is actually just the little pocket container that my sheets came in, but my sheets are actually on my bed right now and I didn't feel like stripping them off for this video. Sorry, but I'm lazy. Anyway, these are from a company called Soul Organics and as the name suggests, these are organic sheets and they are 300 thread count, fair trade organic, fine long staple cotton. Um, I love this color. I, I don't know, I have a thing for gray. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they're they're a little bit shiny almost like a sateen, but not quite um, they're they're nice I love these sheets they have a couple different you know you can get them with like the pleated edges which I did because I thought that it made them look a little fancier I love the color I love the feel of them they're really nice organic sheets anyway I will leave the information for these in the description box for you let's let's do all the non makeup stuff first okay these are some gloves these are from a company called glider gloves and these are meant to be used like with your smartphone so that you know you can actually turn it on and stuff. Look at me tapping in my code. Let's see, let's check out Instagram. Oh, look, there's there's me. Did you guys see that picture of me laughing? It's a cute one. One of the few pictures of me laughing that where I don't just look like a horse. So anyway, <laughs> I'm loving these gloves and they have two different versions. They actually have a couple different ones and they have different colors and stuff. Um, but these ones are the Urban, so they're a little bit thinner and then these ones are the winter which are thicker and I love these so the winter ones are definitely thicker you've got like a double layer of insulation they're super warm and cozy they just feel all squishy and then the urban ones are thinner but they're still like I mean that's they're not super thin like you know they're, these are good, nice, quality, sturdy gloves, which I really like. Another thing that I like is on their site, they actually have this thing, and I printed this out so that I could measure my hand to see what size gloves I needed because I had no idea, you know. I have fairly large hands for a girl, and I have really long fingers, so I almost always have a hard time getting gloves that fit me. So anyway, I measured in at an extra large, but their description is like, you know, if you have giant man hands, you should get an extra large. So I didn't want to get an extra large, but I did get an extra large in the winter gloves and I probably could have gotten away with a large, but my favorite thing in the whole wide world is that the fingers are not too short on me. They're nice and long and wonderful. In the Urban, the thinner gloves, I got a large, and again, the fingers fit really nicely. They do feel a bit wide, but they feel perfect lengthwise on me. So I feel like these would be good for men's hands, because which tend to be a bit wider. Um, but, you know, and it doesn't bother me, and because of the little, the little wrist thing here, it doesn't feel like they're gonna fall off or anything, you know. I, I don't know, I'm happy with them. I got a large and an extra large, and I, I'm obsessed. I love these gloves. Plus, they have this stuff on them that's like this, can you see the tacky texture on there? Which I really like because it, you know, gives you a little bit of grip too. So you can wear these while you're driving or doing stuff. Your phone isn't going to slip out of your hand. You know, I have a nice slippery case on here and it's not slippering. By the way, this case I got off of Amazon, like I do almost everything. And I don't know, it was like 10 bucks or something, but I love it. Look how pretty that is. It's all sparkly and pink. When I got my new phone, the new um, iPhone X, which I love by the way, instead of, you know, it doesn't have a home button, so you swipe up and it has face ID, it's fun. Um, but anyway, when I first got my phone, Colin and I both had black cases and we kept grabbing each other's phones. It was bad, so I, I decided to get a sparkly pink one, so he definitely would not mistake it. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna take these gloves off. Okay, these are some sunglasses from a company called Lot Fancy, and they sell on eBay and Amazon mostly. So these ones I got off of Amazon, they were like 10 bucks, and they have this pair in both white and black. 
I still have the little tag on them. But you know, I thought these were cute. I like big fun sunglasses and I have some more normal looking ones too, <laughs> but they're only $10. And I am a huge fan of inexpensive sunglasses because I always lose them, I break them. I get there get scratched up so I refuse to pay more than like ten dollars for a pair of sunglasses because not worth it okay this is actually just a box but what was in it was a Himalayan salt lamp which is supposed to be like good for you for all sorts of reasons mine is plugged in on my nightstand and it was kind of a pain in the butt to plug in so I didn't feel like unplugging it again with the lazy self here the company actually contacted me and they asked if I wanted to review it I looked it up and it turns out that him Himalayan salt lamps are supposed to be really good for all sorts of things. They help with allergies and asthma, they purify the air, they help you sleep, they can help with anxiety, depression, like all sorts of things. But when I got it, and it's just a giant chunk of salt, you know, with a little light underneath, and I guess there's like a fan in there or something, I don't know. It doesn't make any noise or anything, and it has a setting, so it has a little, like, uh, what do you call that when you just touch it? Touch touch sensor, touch button, but you know, you don't actually press it down. Oh my gosh, you guys, Colin would kill me right now. Okay, so anyway, it has a little touch thing and you touch it once to turn it off and on and then if you hold it down, it will dim it. So it has dimmable settings, which I think is really nice because the first night I had it on and I slept with it on, I don't, I don't like the room to be pitch black. I like there to be a little bit of light. Colin and I differ on this. <laughs> so anyway, I had it on like full light and Colin was like, why the hell was there a giant orange light in the corner of the room all night? So the next night, so the next night I dimmed it and he said that that was okay. And it was a nice little night light for me. And since I've had it in there, I actually stopped using my humidifier. I replaced it with the Himalayan salt lamp. And while I may not be getting that same humidity, I do feel like my sinuses have been better since I switched to my Himalayan salt lamp. I think it's really cool. I actually really enjoy it. I do find the orange glow in the side of my room to be really soothing. I, I don't know why. <laughs> it's one of those things that I was very skeptical about, but now that I have it, I kind of love it. I think that it's awesome. And it comes with two extra bulbs, which is nice. It was nicely packaged and everything. Oh, you guys, <laughs> I got a new camera. So I figured after, how many years is it that I've been doing YouTube? Like three, four, something like that? I don't know. Uh, I finally decided that it was time to upgrade my camera. So I got the Canon EOS Rebel T7i and they were having a deal. And so I got a big printer that came with it, like a photo printer and the camera and a microphone. Here, let me show you the picture of it right here. So you can see the camera and then that's the little microphone that you sit on top. So I've, I've just been absolutely loving it. I don't know if you guys have noticed in the past couple of videos, there's definitely been a quality improvement in the videos. Anyway, I love my new camera. I think it's awesome. Okay, so this is a curler caddy and you can get this on Amazon along with everything else in the world. And it comes in pink, white, or blue. Of course, I got the pink one. And it has suction cups on it so you can suction cup it to your mirror or any sort of suction cupable surface. And you can stick your curling iron in there or your curling wand or flat iron or whatever. That way you can leave it on and it won't, you don't have to worry about accidentally knocking into it or burning your arm or the kids walking in and pulling it off the shelf that kind of a thing uh, which is definitely nice and it just kind of keeps it up and out of the way the suction cups are actually really awesome at first I was a little skeptical and I was certain that it was going to fall off and cause a disaster it didn't it's been on my mirror for like a month I haven't touched it and I've been putting my curling things in here, you know, put them in, take them out, put them in, take them out, which, you know, causes a little bit of jumbling and it still is stuck to the mirror. So, uh, but then it, you know, you can just, it just has little tabs that you can pull it off and it comes right off. With a flat iron, you put one side in instead of trying to jam the whole thing in, just, you know, like, like that. And then the other side sticks out here. But, you know, being up and out of the way, it's nice and handy. I've actually really been loving this. I think it's a handy dandy tool. You can travel with it and just, you know, shove things in there. Like, especially, you know, I don't know if you've ever, you know, like you do your hair in the morning and then you have to rush to catch your plane. So you've got a hot curling wand that you don't really want to shove in your suitcase with all your pretty clothes. So you can just shove it in here and it will protect stuff and then cool down eventually, right? So anyway, fun little handy dandy 
curler caddy. So this is from a company called Raw Spice Bar. I believe I've done a review of this a while back. Um, this is a spice subscription box type thing. So you can get little fun spices like this. You can also buy them a la carte, etc. Um, this unpumpkin pie spice is very gingery and nutmeggy maybe. I don't know. It's got to be the allspice. And it also has black peppercorns in it. It's not your usual pumpkin pie spice, like what you think of. And there's recipes that go with this. So I made the smoothie and like a latte, a pumpkin latte. And let me tell you, this seasoning is intense. It is so strong, definitely not what I was used to. And I followed the instructions, so I used the right amount, but I wish that I had used like half of it because it was super, super strong. But anyway, it's kind of a fun little subscription thing. So I will leave the link to raw spice bar in the description box um, you know if you are into fun spices and they always have recipes that you can use these spices for so even if you get something that you're like I don't I have no idea what to do with that they have recipes for you okay and now on to the makeup portion of this video <laughs> these are samples of foundation from Jouer Jouer came out with a new foundation that is super high coverage but it's lightweight it's called the essential high coverage cream foundation or creme foundation and they have 17 shades so you can see they have 17 shades here they also have a deal they also have this brush which they have like a combo thing I in fact just ordered mine so anyway what you can do if you don't know what color you need because I am the worst at picking out colors for myself um, you can just order this for like six dollars you basically just have to pay shipping and handling and then it comes with little samples of every single color which I think is awesome so I started out with porcelain and tried porcelain sand and then it turns out fawn is my color. But now I know, fawn is my color. And this one is medium neutral, and that one is quite yellow. If you are not a yellow person, don't go for the neutrals. Generally speaking, I try to go for warm things, which tend to be more peach, and peach is not my color. Peach looks orange or pink on me, but it doesn't look like my skin so I need really yellow stuff so I appreciate that it is yellow uh, but anyway that is the neutral the medium neutral in the color fawn is mine but anyway so I have all of these other leftover ones so I think I'll just throw these leftover ones maybe in like my giveaway video or something you know in case somebody wants these um, but I just thought that that was such a clever idea of them to send out samples so that you can swatch at home because you can't really go into a store and, and try out Jouer to see which color is yours so anyway that's awesome love it and the foundation by the way is fantastic like I said I did actually order a bottle of the foundation so when I get that I will do a full review on it okay speaking of foundation this is from Too Faced this is their new peach perfect comfort matte foundation I have the color light beige this is what I have on my face today and it is not quite the right color for me it is too peachy I read all these reviews and they were complaining how all of the colors were too yellow and I was like yay yellow and then I got it and I'm like no it's not yellow it's orange so that's a bit of a bummer but I do actually like the formula I think it goes on really nicely it's more of like a light to medium coverage you can build it up though it's not drying at all um, I don't know I, I really do actually like the formula I just wish that the color matched me a wee bit better I think if I were self tanning and you know looking a little orange it might look better but like right now I have zero self tan on and the yellow is not matching the orange so oopsie doodles this is from pure cosmetics and I got this in was it my vine o box I think it was oh you guys I love vino okay so anyway this is from pure cosmetics this is the three-dimensional fiber lash mascara looks like this so this has one wand which is mascara and then the other wand which is fuzzy little fiber bits I was terrified to use this because so often with fiber mascaras I just end up getting crap in my eyes <laughs> but I wore this and it wasn't bad and it definitely extends your lashes but in my opinion it just makes my lashes look weird and spidery and at that point I would just rather put on falsies you know but I you know it's kind of cool to get this and try it out and I didn't get any fuzzies in my eyes I didn't have a bunch of fuzzies on my face 
a, a couple maybe, but nothing that I couldn't just brush away easily. I thought it was going to be a giant mess and it wasn't, so that's fun. I have these two things from Marula Beauty. I love Marula Beauty. They have such fantastic products. These are nice. Their Marula oil is my like ride or die. I put that stuff on my face every day and I love it. It's the best thing ever. Um, this, they just came out with a lip oil treatment and a three-in-one rejuvenating eye treatment. The And both of these, they have the same packaging and they both have these little ceramic tips. I love this. On my eyes, it just feels so refreshing and cool and wonderful. And it's a little bit different from, you know, like a metal tip, which I, I like metal tips okay, but I don't know, I just, I think the ceramic tip is really cool. So anyway, there's the eye one, and then this is the lip oil. It's very thick, and if it's cold out, it is nearly impossible to squeeze it out of the tube. <laughs> so I would recommend keeping this in your pocket, unless it's in the middle of the summer and it doesn't matter, um, but it is very thick, and it feels so nice on your lips. This is like, if you get super dry lips in the winter, you need this in your life. It feels so nice on your lips, but it is thick, so you know, just keep that in mind. I mean, you can put on a thin layer, and again, it has that ceramic tip, which is really nice and just feels refreshing and cooling on your lips. I love this stuff. I absolutely love it. But you have to keep it in your pocket or someplace warm, otherwise it's nearly impossible to squeeze out of the tube. Some more Too Faced products. This is one of their holiday kits. This is the Under the Kissel Toe, the ultimate liquefied lipstick set. I got this at Ulta and it was one of those things where I was like, ooh, I'm gonna put that on my wish list. And then I had this moment of, it's not going to last. Because every time I do this, I put makeup on my wish list, all of the like holiday stuff, and then it's sold out by the time anybody actually goes to buy it for me. If somebody was planning on buying it for me, I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, I never get anything when I do that. So I was just like, I'm just gonna buy it. It was like $25 and it came with this melted chocolate in the color chocolate honey, which I actually had a full size of this and then my sister put it on and it looked so pretty on her that I just gave it to her because I'm awesome like that. <laughs> um, this melted lipstick in Chihuahua, which is a really great neutral pink color. Melted latex in Hopeless Romantic, which this one is definitely like that, like a super high pigmented lip gloss, you know, it has a stickier texture to it. Um, and the color on this is very peachy. And then the last one in there is this one. This is Drop Dead Red, which is a melted matte. So here are all four colors, Drop Dead Red, Hopeless Romantic, Chihuahua, and Chocolate Honey. And I love all of these colors. I didn't think that I would get much use out of the latex one, and yet that is the one that I reach for most often. For one thing, it mixes well with other things. Like I've worn it with this red, you just put some of that latex on it, and it kind of helps mute down the darkness, because this is a very dark, deep red. But it also gives you hydration, makes it a little more comfortable to wear. Not that this is super uncomfortable, but you know what I mean. Anyway, um, I love all of these. And then when I bought this, I got a free sample of the Melted Matte in Queen Bee. And I love this one too. The color on this is so pretty. This one is more of like that mauve pink. So this is Queen Bee down here. So anyway, I love all of these. I love the formula on all of them. They're all different. And then I also picked up this Urban Decay Vice lipstick in the shade Asphyxia. This is one of those lipsticks that was calling out to me every time I would see it, I would be like, oh, so pretty. You know what I mean? Do you ever do that with something? But then I'd never bought it because every time I swatched it, I'm like, no, I can't wear that. That's a ridiculous color and I'm just, nope, not gonna happen. I finally bought it because I just had to, you know, when you walk by it and want it that many times, you just kind of have to go for it. And it is really pretty. It's this lilac with blue glitter in it. And it's just, I don't know, it's so pretty. Plus the packaging is really cute. I love these Vice lipsticks. And I have worn this several times and it's very comfortable to wear. And it does actually kind of look pretty, especially if you wear it over something. I don't know. I. I I like it, but I like weird lipstick, so what do I know? This I actually just got from Influencer. I got a little Vox box here. This is from Clé de Pew. 
I don't know, I had never actually heard of this brand before I got this box, and I looked them up, and this is definitely a pricey brand. They have some really beautiful looking stuff, but nothing that I've ever seen before, nothing that I've ever tried, so I was excited to see how this was. This packaging is lovely. It's just super pretty, and it's heavy. Like, this is a glass bottle. I mean, this looks and feels like it's nail polish. So the color that I have is number 15, which is described as bright lilac pink. It definitely is that. And at first I was like, oh baby, I don't know about this, but I do actually really like the color. It's this one right here, right above asphyxia. And the formula, it just feels like a pigmented lip gloss. And it does say that it has unique tri-laminar technology, separates color and shine into three layers for an unparalleled level of color saturation and captivating texture. And the texture is very nice. It's not sticky, it's not goopy. It's just like, you know, it's, it's just a really nice gloss. And the pigment is good. It's not, it's not crazy. Like the latex feels very thick and is super pigmented. This one isn't, I mean, obviously it does have quite a bit of pigment in it, but I, it's not, it's not the latex. That's, that's all I'm saying. Anyway, I've only worn this once so far and I like the color. I like the feel of it. I think it's very luxurious. I like the packaging and everything. Anyway, this is fun and nice to have. And then the very last thing that I have, finally, right? This is from Jane. I feel like Jane keeps reinventing itself because Jane's been around for a long time and then they'll completely disappear and come back with new packaging. So I found them again at, where was I? Rite Aid, CVS? I think it was at Rite Aid. Jane has some liquid liners. I just got the black one, but they also have some really fun, like there's a champagne colored one and a like pink colored one. And it's just your typical, you know, liquid liner. Nothing super fancy about the packaging. I feel like the actual product is fine. You know, I wouldn't go out and I wouldn't rush to go buy this because for me, it flaked a little, it smudged a little. It says it's waterproof. It is definitely not waterproof, um, but it goes on pretty nicely and it looks good for a while. Just leave your eyes alone and it, it will last. <laughs> I kind of do want to get the glittery ones just because I thought they were really pretty. So anyway, that is it for my new and interesting things. A lot of really cool stuff. So definitely check out the description box. I will have all of the information and links to where you can find this stuff and all of that good stuff in there. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, thanks for sticking with me. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video.